Hello everybody, welcome back to the indie game Spotlight. This is Voyage E created by Trias. It is Trias with triple I's in the middle. It's an adventure game still in development, created in Unity. Um, Voyage E is a fan-made sequel to the wonderful game Nessons E. I haven't played Nessons E so I can't really draw a comparison there. It's a surreal art game with the main aim to explore the expressional world. It deals with sounds and a massive architecture. So that's all we get, but that's pretty much all we need. If the game's anything like what I'm seeing right now, it'll be a grand voyage indeed. I uh, had some issues getting this game up. The uh, reason for that being is I tend to set the game in windowed mode at 1080 by 720 because that's what I usually record in and upload in. And I couldn't start the game. Um, had some back and forth with the developer, and he said, well, well Okay, uh, if your modder is 1980 by 1920 by 1280, you need to play in that resolution, otherwise you won't see half of the game. And in this case, the half of that game that I couldn't see was this end. So, anyway, that's all fixed now. Just do remember, if you try to play this game yourself, play in the same resolution as your modder is, at least until the game gets further in development. Anyway, um, options doesn't do anything for me just yet, so that might still be implemented. Chapter does do something, but I'm not going to click it because I haven't found a way to get back from it yet. So we're just going to click play and see what happens, right? immediately get dumped into a room. I'm gonna see if I can uh, raise the sensitivity of my mouse by clicking the buttons on my mouse. Uh, yeah, okay, this will do. Alright, so we start off in this nice black and, well, grayscale room. And yeah, immediately the scale of things really hits you pretty hard. This is a pretty big room already. You're usually not used to that. Anyway, we'll move on. See if we can find something. I kind of like the walking animation. I mean, the camera going bobbing up and down, left and right. Oh yeah, this is freaking huge and beautiful. Hmm. Bit of a strong shadow. I suppose because of the light fixtures not really being against the wall. Cool, cool. Do we create our own shadow? No. You don't see that very often, so... Can't hold it against them. Besides, the game's still in development, and that's always uh, a thing to keep in mind. That and the fact that it's absolutely free. I could look at this for a long time. Smooth. Bit weird on the edges. Is there a reason for the shadow anywhere? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Cool, relaxing background music. Some green fog up there. Wonder if we'll ever get to that. Mm. So, for the moment, I think there's four chapters. I don't know how long a chapter is. This just doesn't lead anywhere. Can I? Gotta go look for the boundaries of everything, huh? That's the... Mm. Don't know what's up with that. Anyway. Let's uh, see if we can find a different room to explore. Cause for the time being, that's all there is to this game. It might not change, but that's okay. You don't always need an objective to appreciate a game. Wow. Cool build. I do wonder what's up with the jagged edges on all the shadows. I'm not a game designer, so I don't know if that's something that shouldn't be. I'm playing it on fantastic um, in the Unity settings. Well, the graphic settings, so. Got a bit of. What is that? Screen tearing? I think I had the option for V-Sync. 
Well, it could be that it's in the options of the game itself, but it didn't really do anything for me. Can I? No, I can't go back. Hmm. Probably not supposed to go in there, because I can't see. Though it does seem to be the only place for me to go, so yeah, let's just venture into the deep. Keep my eye out for this, and so I can know when I hit a wall, at least. Right, I seem to have hit... Uh, this continues on. Ooh, where is that light coming from? Cool. Doesn't have a an explicit light source, just a well, it does have a light source, there it is, but it's just moving from the ceiling and the walls. Kinda makes a nice effect on this though. Beautiful. Beautiful. So you don't always need bright colors and stuff like that, I I'm amazed by the great work and the use of gray. Problem is I have no idea how long this video is going to last because again I'm not playing in window mode so I don't have an eye on that. Staircase. I can appreciate good use of light. Ooh, I don't think I'm su some camera issues there. I think, yeah, we're probably not supposed to go see through that. Ah, well. Sensitivity could be a little higher, actually. Alright, looks like we're going into chapter 2 now. Ah, got that to look at. Mm. You could let us go through a door or something, rather than just pushing you onwards. Giving you a loading screen and suddenly dumping somewhere else. Cool sound of the wind. I wonder if there's going to be music that's kicking in. Ooh, fog. Smoke. There's the music. So no dynamic lighting, but I mean, when your lights are fixed, can't really say there's dynamic lighting. We had that one going through the hallway, and that was dynamic enough, I say. Seems to be another light source without an actual light that goes with it. Bit of a tear here, but. I mean, like I said, I have no idea on how these things are created. And like I've already said a few hundred times before, I'm not that of a graphics whore. Not everything needs to be picture perfect for me to enjoy myself. This is interesting. Don't see a way through, though. Is a sort of flashlight we're using here? I mean, I see sent circles that stick on the screen. I mean, I can't show them with my mouse pointer, but that sounds nice. Um, I suppose that j could just be a filter. I suppose it works pretty good enough. Let's see if we can find a way through. Ah, here we go. Smooth. Jazz. Anything behind here? No. Just another staircase. Huh. Even got shadows on the stairwells. That's nicely done. An eye for detail. Detailed. Ooh, we got a fan. Nope, it's another moving light. Oh, wow.
Well done. I wonder if we'll ever get up there. Ooh. Um, I heard that you can fall off of these and you won't respawn. And I'm not gonna try it out. Uh, oh, come on. I wanna see this shadow being cast upon all that stuff. Nothing, huh? Okay. I really nailed the entire uh, grandness of the architecture bit. Ooh. More weird lights. So nothing is moving in this except for you and the occasional light source. Ooh, this seems to be gigantic. Uh, there's here, here, so. I heard a clicking. Can I jump? Yeah, I can jump, okay. Didn't need to jump now, so it's kind of weird that you suddenly are supposed to. Well, I want to just get a stair up there, I mean. You don't have to jump this entire way through. It's a bit odd that you suddenly have to start doing that, or at least make it apparent that you have to jump there. are huge. Don't want to be a cleaning lady in here. A lot of ways to go. So let's go there. Straight into the dead end. Ooh. Yeah, I was wondering if that bit of light was, was supposed to be here and turns out it is. Has a proper douche walk and the only bit that doesn't have a proper staircase. Do you go up stair per stair or is it just a slope you're walking on? Seems to be just a slope. That's okay, you don't want to have your screen shutter uh, every time you go up some stairs, huh? Can I get up here? Yeah, I can. To boldly go where no one... Ooh, that doesn't have a clip. That's unfortunate. Well. Okay, ooh. I think that's some... Weird things with textures, doing weird stuff. We can see them on the stairs, but a little bit on the back there as well. To what a appears to be windows with some of the lights on and off. It's happening there as well. Again, not a personal issue for me, but I know some people do care about that stuff. For some reason I get a French vibe of all of this. Not from the architect. Well, maybe a bit about the architect, but also the music. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the devs aren't French. If they are, hey. That's good. Practically neighbors then. They'll probably just stick to the paths provided for us then to avoid clipping through stuff. Which may make me believe that I wasn't supposed to jump up those stairs where I came in from either. I don't know. I don't know. But we're here. Enjoying the architecture. It's great. Almost looks a bit like a city, doesn't it? Skyscrapers and stuff like that. Can we see anything here? No, so there's no real reason to go there. Turns out darkness is a pretty decent deterrent to prevent people from going places they're not supposed to go. People could still go there, but you know, they won't have anything to see. They'll go back to where the lights are at. Uh, is this the proper way to go? Or am I... 
saw some light here. Guess I wasn't supposed to have that. I heard a click again. Is that in the? Must be in the music, right? That's the reason why you would start hitting, hiding buttons everywhere. I mean, yes, it does. M having people active go search for buttons make sure they've been into every nook and cranny. Do we have fall damage? No, we tried that out when we accidentally fell through the block. Man, just I mean, just the first time you walk in here, that's like pretty much awe-inspiring, right? There's a lot of games that uh, use that concept, like going into a massive room for a first time, and like, whoa. I'm guessing that's pretty much what this game is all about, getting that happen as often as possible. Can I? No. This probably doesn't have a clip anyway. Let's see if there's a path through at the bottom. Probably about ready to... Uh... So we've got a dark thing there. Pit of despair or something. Or maybe it's full of kittens. Would they hide something behind the shadow? No. Well, not in this case at least. I'll go up, we'll uh, try to find a different way out. and If not, we'll get ready to end the episode. But I do want to see another one of these big rooms. Because, you know, that's what the game's all about. Weird stairs, huh? Uh, where can we still go? So we came from there. Can we just uh, leap of faith on that one? Can we go? Did I just click again? I wonder where that's coming from. So I'm pretty sure at this point the uh, path onwards is indeed up. The game isn't holding your hand to show you where to go and frankly I think that's a good thing. It means you need to explore a bit. If people say, well, you gotta go there, and then you go from there, and then you gotta go there. Yeah. You'll feel like you're exploring, more like you're being guided along a path. That goes really high up. Is it through here somewhere? Shadow seems to be going under or something. Uh, yeah. Hm. Alright. Cool. So all that just to say that explore, being forced to ex that to explain that I enjoy being forced to explore more than I enjoy being guided through something. Any of these open? No. Let's try. Okay, nothing. I said. It's Probably somewhere here though. Can I just go straight through? That would be stupid. I'll we'll go back here again, see if we can find anything of use. Music's gone. Kinda makes me think that I've been here for too long. Seems to just be a wall. Nope, it's a gateway. Possibly to the next... yeah. To the next scene. Alright. See if we can... whoa. Alright, I gotta go across this, man. This just looks... even more grand than the previous room. It definitely were wrong when they were talking about the magnitude of these levels. Wow. Oh, nothing but the abyss awaits us below. It's 
suppose you might as well end here then, I suppose, before I go any, any further. Gotta leave something for you guys to explore. Um, but man, that does look pretty darn neat. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode then. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still enjoying the series. If you should support by commenting, liking, and or subbing if you haven't already. This has been Voyage E created by Trias. See you guys on the next Indie Game Spotlight. Bye everyone.